I think today is Thursday. Wild Car Custom, Paint Pimp, Ghetto Garage, Wild Car Custom. Happy Train is stopped at the station. Are you ready? Woo woo! All aboard! Okay, today it's 40 degrees, 50 degrees, 9.35. Outside, it's been snowing a little bit. I had a snow blow today. And the temp is, look like a one or two. But I don't think that does wind chill. Oh yeah, the sewer man was here. And the sewer man fixed my sewer. Woo, woo, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay, tell you a little story. First, um, I'll run down some things. Got my Hutchinson today. That's cool. Got some things for, uh, uh, well, come on now. Think about a uh, Sada Jet A83 and Greg Porter. I've been meaning to do that. Um, I'm going to do a little rant for a minute. And then uh, I'm going to try to make this slow. Uh, a short video. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Got the snowflakes just falling. Okay, how long ago, boys and girls? Focus! How long ago did I do that tailgate? And my man still owes me 90 bucks. Man, this was supposed to be paid for before Christmas. Okay. I told him, like I said, today's Thursday. I told him on Wednesday, and he shook my hand. I told him what was going to happen. I told him I was going to take that and beat that tailgate to death. You know, I really had all intentions to do it this morning to prove my point. The reason I'm not, because I'm in a really good mood today. My drain is fixed. There ain't no turds, there ain't no water, there ain't nothing backing up. That's what I'm talking about. So I'm going to let that slide for a minute. But it still rubs me the wrong way. Okay, I'm probably going to forget some stuff, so maybe I'll remember. Okay. Uh, somebody was saying they ain't seen no um, fire extinguisher in somebody's garage. I've always had one. See, it's for uh, liquids and grease and water. If you guys would look, it's always been up here. There you go. Okay, see? That's Slim Jim's. That was lunch, supper, or something. Did you get your read on today, boys and girls? Okay. Interface pads. Gotta let them dry out. Don't keep them wet. Okay, let's move on. Got this through uh, Darren and... Um, oh, God, did I forget her name. Um, oh, shit. Andrea. Yeah, I think it started with an A. Um... Yeah, I like this. What I like is, see how this is pointed right here? A little bit pointed? And your hand, where your knuckles are, it kind of makes a, instead of making a round curve like that, it doesn't when you bend your hand, it kind of curves just like that. Another thing I like is, it's got a little, little thing where you can set your wrist on. It's all right. Only thing I don't like about it is when your hand is right here, you feel the air. So what I'm going to do is just take a little elbow and go, have an exit this way. Um, I screwed up. I should have ordered, um, I don't know why, because I wasn't thinking. I should have ordered a Velcro pad so I could put the interface pads on. But, um, I'm going to have to order that. Kind of cool when um, they show you the product and they actually show the people that work there. 
Kind of makes you feel a um, piece of something. Okay. What else I got to show you? Oh, that bottom piece right there. Really? Ah, uh, it's it took me three hours. I tried heat. It did not work. It got so hot. Let me see if I can find a little spot here. It got so hot that it wanted. It. You see where it started melting? Man, that's how hot I had that beast. But anyway, had to cut it out. This is the one from before, and this is the one that was on the bottom. And this shit's thick. Yeah, man. It ain't, I caught some threats too, but you know what? I think it'll screw on. I screwed up. There you go. See if I can see that little rascal. There you go. See where I caught those threads? Yeah. I didn't try to. You know what? If it leaks, I'll weld the motherfucker. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. Here's my little little things. I want to thank Greg Porter for telling me to go get um, not go to Lowell's per se, and said go to a pipe fitting place, and he did. And this hat, this one ended up being um, coarse thread. Um, not fine thread, but it's all good. Okay, let's move on here. This is for Greg Porter. I told him this is how you get runs out. It's like a little wood, it's like a little file you buy. It works quite well. You gotta be careful. You gotta slide it and lift. I know that seems like common sense, but if you pull back or go on, because it's on an angle, you'll gouge that shit. Anyway, Sutter Jet 883. Bam! Okay. Um, that back tire, if you haven't had a change, I mean, it's just like a bicycle tire, for real, dude. If you buy three spoons, they're like, uh, I don't know, you can get two spoons for like seven bucks, you can get three for like, I don't know, man, $14. You could change your own tire. Maybe you don't want to, but it's really easy. Okay, I'm trying to save a buck. The reason I did it, the reason I started changing my own rims, uh, dude down at uh, CC Cycle, I had a 21-inch rim on the front of that chopper. It was 80 spoke, and he bent that rascal, and he claimed that he didn't do it. Really? And this is what he said. When I finally cornered him, he said, I'll make it right. Here's words of wisdom. When somebody says they're going to make it right and they don't make it right right then, they're not going to make it right. Okay? Liar, liar, pants on fire. Let's move on. Okay, what else? Oh, the reason... It was, it was out of control right there. Oh, let me tell you a little story about... Um, yeah. Let me tell you a little story about the... Uh, yeah. Commercial break. Ain't got no fire. Okay. I'm in a good mood. The drain sticks. Yeah. Okay. Where's my little timer at? I'll tell you the story real quick. There you go. Whoa. <coughs> I'll tell you the story real quick. Like, I called three places today. Oh, man, you can't even see me. Well, that's all good. It don't matter. Um, I called, uh, Right on time or something, yeah. The, it, the roads are too bad. Really? They couldn't come. Why'd you answer the phone? Everybody's driving. Man, I guess they want the money. Called the second place. I think it was, I don't know what the other two places were called. Oh, something was Daniel something and son. I called them because I thought it was a little family owned operation. Answer machine, really? Can't get no business because you know I moved on because I ain't trying to get water in my basement. And the third place, their number has been dis disconnected, but uh, they have a big old ad in the, in, in the uh, phone book. But anyway, I ended up going to say sewer. Um, he's a little late, but it's all cool. His name is JT. He was like 24 years old. Yeah, I got a lot of information because I talk a lot. Okay. JT come down and looked at the basement. He said, they got standing water. That's a good thing. I'm like, I don't know, man. I think clay's broke. He says, in five, ten minutes, I'm going to get this out. I'm like, okay, man. And I showed him my machine. And he said, the first problem is I only got a 3 8 Cable. He got three quarter inch cable. Mine, I got to manually go down there and push the foot. His is gear driven. It pushes it. He has some big cutters with like a pincher, man. You know, man, I'll tell you what. <laughs> hey, dude, in five, ten minutes, got it out of there. Then I said to him, because it was 129 Hey, that ain't bad, man. It's priceless. You know what I'm saying? Man, you can't even see shit. Really? Okay, fuck it. I don't care. Whoa, slow down here. Man, chill, Tom. Okay, there you go. And then um, I'm I'm worried because I don't want to be going to bed at night saying everything's beautiful and it ain't. So I said, how much do you want a camera down there? He goes out uh, sixty bucks to guarantee for a year or twenty five bucks. Uh, we just run down there one time. And he says, you don't really need the camera. And I said, yeah, I understand, little man, young buck. 
But an old man like me, 48 years old, this has been drama to me. Uh, I give 25 bucks, run the camera down, I want to see what's what. Run it all the way down. What the problem was, right where it meets the main sewer line, it was, it, all the roots were hitting right there. And actually my sewer runs off the front. Everybody said it was the back, which they don't know what they're talking about. Um, basically mine would come all the way down and because mine isn't gear driven and the cable has got some kinks in it. And he says, once you get a kink, you can hammer out, but it's a weak spot. I should have known that. But uh, he said that's, and that copper sulfate won't hit it because it's got a little groove. Anyway, my man JT, he rocks. I'll tell you why he rocks. This is what he did for me. JT wrote down, he said, you buy a new cable, that little Harbor Freight little thing you got will work. I said, yeah, but it ain't three quarter inch um, cable like he got. He said, that's fine, but if you stay up on it, you'll be good to go. He said, go on to draincables.com. He said, you can get some gloves and you can get another cable, 50 foot. I'm going to need a little bit more than that. He said, you can get for under 100 bucks. And I said, ain't you kind of um, cutting your own throat? And JT, he's a young buck, got a little hair off his chin. But anyway, this is what he said to me. Yeah, there's a recession out there, but he says when it comes to drain service, um, either you're going to deal with some water or you're going to get your drain done. He said people got to get the drain done uh, regardless. Um, you got to get it done. So the recession ain't hit them. That's good for him. So they got like 155 bucks out of 154. Hey, it's all good in the hood. But I was like, oh, I'm going to show you why I pulled the uh, tank apart. Well, have I mentioned uh, my sewer flows water real good? Yeah! Okay, this is why um, I pulled, took all this time to pull these plugs out. Because this is what um, I end up finding out what I end up using. What I do is I get a real small light bulb, not a normal size light bulb, like this. Not this size, because it won't fit in the hole. You want to get a smaller one. And this is what you find in there when people abuse tanks. Okay. See all that rust? Yeah. See all that rust right there? And you could tell they never drained it because why would the water be all up in up inside there? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I don't... So this is what I do. I just do a little jerry rig. Yeah, let me go and not get electrocuted, okay? There you go. Just get a little small light bulb. Yeah. Gives you a little light. Can I... Really? Okay, can I go in there and sandblast and all that? No, I ain't trying to sandblast all that, no. Um, there's really no good way to get all the rust out. But what you can do, and what I do, <clears throat> make a long story short, my, my buddy had a Craftsman compressor. Late, it was a lay down. And um, he used it all the time, did a little bit of something, something, you know, and he never drained a tank. I never knew how to drain a tank. I never even knew you should do it, but anyway. We got 13 minutes, gotta move on. What had happened, it rusted and rusted and rusted, and it got to the point it got so weak, and it blew apart. And lucky he wasn't standing there, because it blew two cinder blocks out of his garage about eight inches. So that's why I always, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, um, tomorrow, because it's been a long day, you know what I'm saying? Did I mention my sewer's fucking fixed? Woo, yeah! Tomorrow what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some rust deadener. You spray it in the bottle, it's like acid form. What I'm in, you know, that's the best I can do. I'm going to spray it in with a spray bottle, yep. Yeah. And then after it all dries out, I'm supposed to let it sit there for about eight hours. I will. Is there a really good way of drying out? Not really. Just put a hair dry, not a hair dry, but a heat gun in there. Put it in to get it dry. Once it's dry, you're supposed to wipe down lacquer thinner or something or sandpaper, but I ain't going to be able to. I can't get my hand in there. Okay. So the next thing I'll do is I'll buy rust oleum, oil base. Primer in a can, and I'll put it in a spray bottle. It's a messy job, it's messy, but I spray it all in there. You know, it's kind of hard. Probably what I'll have to do is flip the tank upside down and spray from the top. I mean, I'm sorry, spray from the bottom because I'll be able to go all the way around the circle. See, if I go up in here only in this part, I won't be able to catch this side of it. But anyway, it's too much information. I know it's 15 minutes and one second. And um, like I said, and then uh, I'll hook, I think I'm gonna hook that up in there over in the side because I ain't got a place to store it. 
Um, the 2006 Caddy ain't here because the dude got some drama in his life. Uh, I'm supposed to be here tomorrow. Um, did I believe the guy? Yeah. He didn't lie to me yet. Um, days like the 17, I only got, what, shoot, 13 more days and I had to do this 2006 Caddy. I don't think I'm going to get the front end done because I ain't going to have time. And then uh, Patman going to be staying here um, with 1972 Cutlass. And my partner down here says, well, did he give you some money down? No, he ain't give me no money down, but he's been here more than enough time. He gonna come. He gonna come. But if you don't, hey, they don't matter because, woo, woo, happy train is here today. I got sewer fixes, what I'm talking about. Yeah. Man, that had me stressed out, you know what I'm saying? Man, you know what be like when water come up in your basement, you know what I'm saying? I thought it was a collapse of tile. Peace of mind! Peace of oneself. Peace of property. Peace of pussy. Peace on earth. Rest in peace. Big piece of pie. Peace of the action. I think we pretty much covered everything. Peace of mind! Peace of mind! Peace of mind! And, um,. I'm glad to see Dave up there doing some videos. Bam, that's my man. And um, need gas and glass to be coming on back and uh, do some videos. But anyway, I've been emailing him a little bit. And I'm uh, sorry about Maddie, man. Because Maddie was emailing me a lot, then boom, he was gone. I kind of forgot. And yeah, I know Maddie got some crotch rockets. Probably going a little bit too fast, but hey, we all do stuff like that. And I'm sure he's going to be all right and it's all good in the hood. Um, and when the big, big dog get on, Eating. Eat the puppies get a piece of salt, motherfucker. And the indicating light says green. If you don't believe me, it does change. Bam! It's 17 minutes and 24 seconds. I didn't plan on doing the video. A slow ass RG. I ain't forgot about you. Things are going good. Um, I gotta go get that look. I gotta go get that thing I gotta make for you. I know you don't know what it is. You ain't supposed to know what it is. It's a little, gonna have a little Tommy shoe. Poo. Player, uh, yeah, I'm in a good goddamn mood because Happy Train's here and you better ride that motherfucker until it falls off the tracks because it might not last. Peace!